Wow, that cut very well. Really, really awesome Tonto blade to it. This is the Double Dragon Dow. And then we also have this other Dow. I don't have the full name on it, but you'll see it's also a really beautifully done Damascus blade. We're gonna do some specs on both of these. This one's really cool because the blade is hidden, so it looks like an actual walking stick. And then we'll obviously do some cut testing as well. Let's get to it. Yeah, this comes with a really awesome uh, wrapped bag. Really beautiful. It's got yellow cord attached to it. And if we slide this out, we have a bright yellow on the inside, really complementing the wood grain on the actual blade itself. I'm gonna set the sword back down just momentarily. And we'll notice that if we look at this just as it is, this is the uh, this is the other one, the Damascus Tonto one, the double dragon we'll get to in just a second. Um, this one actually just looks like a walking stick, which it's intended to be so. It's intended to be more of a concealed blade. Sometimes you'll see bamboo cane katanas like this. You'll notice this really awesome uh, end right here, really awesome pommel to it. Technically, it's not really a pommel, it's just really the end of the sword, making it more of like a Dao shape. And you'll see that when we draw this one out, it actually exposes the handle. So then as you draw that, you have the handle, and you can see, really beautiful in the Damascus, slides out very well. Um, no handguard on this one, but the blade itself, the stock is really awesome. The Tonto tip, really excellent on this one. My favorite feature off of this one, just from holding it for, you know, from training with it a little bit, not even doing the cut testing yet, is that it's a really dense blade. This is um, a full tang design from LK Chen. Very simple design, yet very, very powerful, I believe, on the cutting. Obviously also on straight thrusting. Handle's really secure. It's uh, not really skinny, it's more narrow but this being more of a concealed one, that is more of the intention of keeping it a little bit more on the low profile end. Draws very nicely back into the scabbard. And as you see, as this slides in, there you have. All right, using this one, again, no hand guard. So if you are doing any type of cut testing with this blade, please be very mindful, use proper targets, make sure you're outside somewhere that you, um, you can do proper cut testing and you have proper training. Um, let's take a look at this one. Another quick pan of the sweet Damascus on this blade. All right, we did some more uppercuts with the Double Dragon Dow. Let's do some downward cuts in the diagonals and also on the horizontals and see how that does as well. So we have the tatami properly set up. We're here, get a nice cut in there. Let's do a horizontal a little bit lower to the midline. Got a really solid cut there. And then if we come out, we'll split that one right in half. All right, with the hidden dowel, it's a little bit more apparent. We can see more of the Damascus on the blade. And then that really rigid Tonto tip. We take this back down to the double dragon dowel, a little bit less apparent. See if we can catch that, of course. Okay, looking at the Double Dragon Dow a little bit more up close, we're gonna notice, harder to see, but we'll be able to get in the light. This one is a Damascus blade, with that really awesome Tonto tip. Thick spine to it. And then up close of the cross guard and also the pin. Then we transition over to the hidden Dow, and we can immediately see how different that Damascus is. Really lovely pattern work here. Again, no hand guard on this one, but that's okay. The handle is an excellent length, keeping that retention. A little bit more of a narrow hardwood handle. Really lovely blade here. We'll take a look at the actual Tonto tip as well.
All right, with the hidden dowel, it's a little bit more apparent. We can see more of the Damascus on the blade. And then that really rigid Tonto tip. We take this back down to the double dragon dowel. A little bit less apparent. See if we can catch that. Okay, looking at the double dragon dowel a little bit more up close, we're gonna notice, harder to see, but we'll be able to get in the light. This one is a Damascus blade. With that really awesome Tonto tip. Thick spine to it. And then up close of the cross guard and also the pin. Wow, that cut very well. We soak these, of course. If you need to Tommy mats, click the link below. Um, but you can see very, very smooth cut. Excellent quality on this blade. Let's do another uppercut. Wow. So very powerful cutting as you can see. Really easy to maneuver this blade around even for how big it is, which is a really key sign of a very properly balanced sword from LK Chen. Let's go ahead and do another tatami mat with the hidden dao and see how that one does. With the double dragon dao, Let's do some downward cuts in the diagonals and also on the horizontals and see how that does as well. So we have the tatami properly set up. We're here, get a nice cut in there. Let's do a horizontal a little bit lower to the midline. Got a really solid cut there. And then if we come out, we'll split that one right in half. All right, so there you have it. Two excellent blades from LK Chen. We have the double dragon dao this one with the short handguard and a Damascus uh, blade. And then we have what we're calling for the time being the hidden dao. Um, this one obviously is being more like a sword cane. Really, really powerful choppers. Um, really, really, really good points of balance. I've never worked with this company before, or these blades. So really, really impressed with the quality of them. Um, I would say my favorite, actually, let me know what your favorite is in the comments below. As always, thank you for your support. Subscribe to the channel, like this video. And we'll see you in the next one.